Hey there, TLC Tribe. It's Veronica here. And today my guest is also Veronica, and she's a marketing coordinator based in Sydney. So for all our Aussie audience joining us today, you're probably familiar with the Australian pop group, the Veronicas, and I'm really delivering for you today by bringing <laughs> two real Veronicas together live on screen for us. So I'm going to throw straight over to Veronica. And um, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's, it's my pleasure and I'm thrilled to have you here with us. So I wanted to get straight into it with you and um, wondered if we could really just get started with you um, filling us in on how you stepped into this journey of coaching. Sure. So um, I started with basically I studied marketing at Macquarie. Um, and so I did that. And pretty much straight out of that, I was into my full time marketing job, which was awesome. And I was in that job for about a year. It got to about yeah the year mark that I kind of started to feel like I didn't have a plan and like something set up for like what's my next step. I didn't know what it looked like. Um, so that's when things started to slow down a bit and I have always been interested in getting a life coach or getting some sort of mentor and help. Um, so I was literally on a walk one day and I remember I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about it and I'm like, you know what, I think it's time to just take that next step and have a look. So I looked into it um, and I came across the Life Coaching Co. I booked the breakthrough session, um, which I just thought that call really was amazing. I think it was a lot of value and that given it was just free for anyone to take that call um it really yeah it was very beneficial for me to just see what it was like first um and then I just went all in and I gave it a shot and that's and that's how I ended up here <laughs> you did you went all in and I remember us having the first call because um you know for our audience you know Veronica and uh, myself first will share the same name phonetically our surnames sound yeah. similar <laughs> when we started talking our personal email addresses are also formatted the same way on the same platform. It's quite eerie. She's in yeah. marketing. My career originally was in marketing. Um, she currently works in a recruitment agency doing marketing. I've been in recruitment before. There was just, it was like planets aligned, I think, that brought us together. That's good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, um, in terms of you, when you did come to me and you know you you mentioned your career was at that at point of stalling. How long do you think it had um, sort of felt for you that things had been stalling in your career before you'd actually decided, yeah, I'm going to do this coaching thing? I think I'd say it was kind of gradual, um, but I'd probably say like a few months of just feeling like there was no next step. Um, but then, yeah, when I really started to feel like I, I'm kind of like it got to a point where I really felt stuck, like I just wasn't motivated. That was when I realized I was like, yeah, I probably should do something and get some sort of guidance and get help somewhere. Yeah. Mm. And what did you try initially to try and change things up in your career? Um, I I definitely remember having more conversations like in the workplace. I was trying to figure it out. Um, obviously, since this is my first full time job, it kind of felt like I. I didn't really back myself in the conversations I was having. And so when I would kind of bring up like, what can my career pathway look like? I felt like I wasn't really sure how I was asking the questions and if I was going about in the right direction. Um, so yeah, it just kind of felt like I, I didn't, I wasn't backing myself and I didn't feel like I had the help that I needed. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having the courage and sharing that with us. I think that's, um, you know, uh, very, you know, really vulnerable of you to do that. And for a lot of people in the workplace, um, you know, they're in positions where they think, oh, can I, can I say this? Can I do this? How, how do I do this? And yeah. there's, um, and there's some uncertainty there. And that's certainly a common theme for a lot of people when they're at a, a point of thinking, hmm, I want to do something differently here. I'm not sure what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so for you, when you think about um, getting into this coaching journey with you, I'm just curious, what was it about the mindset piece then that sort of appealed to you? Um, I think I definitely wanted to level up. And so when I was exploring these kinds of coaching and I saw how it was kind of, yeah, it changed your mentality and angles on things. Like I, I was just really drawn into the possibility of like what could, what could having like a stronger, more confident mindset look like. Um, 
and I just got really excited about that kind of idea and and what it could look like in my life and obviously like we talked about these in my sessions but really creating that foundation since I am at the beginning of my career that was really exciting for me yeah absolutely and um when you came to uh listen to these podcasts thinking about you know getting into mindset now and doing some coaching work on that piece did you have any hesitations around engaging a coach or what coaching might entail yeah I think um The biggest one for me was my age because I am so young and I am so fresh in the career. I think a lot of my, the people that I was bouncing this idea off of were like, oh, it's fine if you're feeling a little bit like lost or confused at your age, like it doesn't matter. Like you can just sit with that. And so that was kind of a concern for me that I was like, is, does my age mean that I don't have the experience or that I can't utilize the life coaching to the best of my ability and like not make good use out of it um can definitely say that it it was very useful (laughs) if anything it it was the perfect time to do it so I'm glad that that yeah didn't um persuade me otherwise but yeah I definitely felt like I wasn't sure if it was right for me Mm. and when you had those feelings what do you think for you uh got you across the line at the end of the day you know overcoming those feelings and doing it um I think just kind of realizing that um it was me who wanted to do this because I think where the doubts came in was when I was bouncing it off of other people and they were kind of saying you don't need it but that's that's kind of their perspective so I think I really just honed into the fact that I have been interested in life coaching like I was being called to this I felt like I was thinking about it a lot so I just went you know what it's not like this hasn't come up for no reason. Like, I feel like I just need to go go into this and there's like never going to be a better time than just now to go into it. Like I can't just keep putting it off, that sort of thing. (laughs) But yeah, so I just kind of went in. And I love that. I love that you were called to coaching. I feel like we were called, (laughs) you and I, to come together for sure. That's awesome to hear. And, um, And you're so right. You know, a lot of people often say, you know, is now the right time? What about my age? Sometimes it's too young, too old. Um, And I often say, you know, well, when's the best time to plant a tree? Uh, You know, ideally yesterday, (laughs) so there's an opportunity to grow. If not today, let's do it now. You know, there's no better time than right now. Um, So I wondered then, you're going through this journey of coaching and um, in your experience, what sort of changes did you start to see within yourself as you're traveling along this pathway with me? I think definitely I became more positive. Like, because I started to see plans coming into place um, and I started to see like every week there was an action and it was like I was being held accountable and I saw movement very fast. Um, But yeah, just overall very excited. And I think um, there was like visualizations we were doing, like the worksheets we were working through. I felt like I was really gaining momentum and I was getting back that kind of excitement that I had at the start of my career, like at the start of my job. So yeah, those are kind of some initial changes, but yeah, honestly, it was, yeah, very fast moving, which was good. Yeah, great. And when we were going through those um, different exercises that we were doing in our sessions, what did you start to um, shift in yourself? Like, what did you start to reassess? Um. Big ones were the gremlins that we worked through. I think realizing those, like just having um, them in the back of my head. And then when I saw them come up, just recognizing them and viewing them as what they were um, and not making it me. It's just my gremlin. (laughs) That was a good (laughs) shift. Um, But yeah, I think I just, I realized as we were kind of working through these worksheets and things that um, I really just gained more awareness of how I was thinking and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Fantastic. And as you're moving through our program, then and we got really crystal clear on your goal, you know, we yeah. got that really set in stone and you were moving towards that goal. What did you start seeing happening in terms of the goals that you were setting for yourself? Oh, well, the the goals before I even finished the program, like I think I don't, I don't know, remember what week it was, but I I got the email from um, my management that literally the goal I'd set was going to happen 
to the day, <laughs> which was awesome. So I think I really started to see things falling into place. Conversations became easier. I was, yeah, happier, more positive about the workplace. And it wasn't necessarily um, when I set the goal at the start, um, it was kind of, it was purely what I wanted. And it, I wasn't worried about the how that it was going to happen. Like I was taking inspired action and we had plans and steps to take. But in terms of what I knew, the qualities of what I was looking for, but what form that took, I, we kind of just kept it open, which I think was really good. Um, and then just seeing it all fall into place, how it did, it just goes to show you just trust the process, really. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. And I mean, in terms of that, it's like it really was manifested. Um, yeah. You know, you write, write it down. And uh, for our viewers and listeners at home, um, Veronica was uh, one of her goals was to be looking at a, a promotion in her workplace. And uh, and certainly the goal she set and the, and the, the considered action she took towards that. Uh, resulted in her securing that position. Woohoo! So we were all very excited about that ahead of the program. So um, it just goes to show that writing down your goal and then taking, you know, massive action steps towards that, um, you know, results in a positive outcome. And you are living proof of that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and so I also wondered, um, you, were, you were doing a lot of um, intense work with me in the sessions and you were really always throwing yourself into it, which I love about you. What would you say for you was um, maybe an aha moment or a key learning lesson that you recall as, as a standout for you? Um, I remember this one, one of the sessions I was saying like, oh, I, because we had basically like certain criterias to work towards for this promotion. And I remember being like, well, what if like I'm motivated now, but the criteria list looks huge. What if I don't um, what if I start to lose motivation and it's all seeming like a lot and really hard? And I remember you saying um, that it's not about like I have to do all of this criteria. It was I get to do all of this criteria and just like flipping the what ifs. Because I remember because me coming to you being like, what if I start feeling demotivated? What if like it? I don't actually get to the point where I tick off everything. And I remember you saying, but like, what if it all works out perfectly fine? Or what if it's so easy? Like it doesn't have to be hard. What if it's really smooth sailing and cruisy and exactly how you wanted it? And that was a big aha moment. Um, yeah, just flipping mindsets is huge for me. Yeah. Great, great to hear. And um, so true as well, when we can reframe our thoughts uh, and just look at it from a slightly different perspective, the opportunities really start opening up. Mm. On that note, um, talking about reframing our, our thoughts and so on, I know that you had um, quite a lot of external uh, evidence to suggest that this promotion that you were after would, would potentially not be possible. It hadn't been done before at the salary level before for someone with your experience and so on. And we had those external factors at play for you. Um, what do you think the point was where you realized, mm, hang on, I don't have to listen to those voices anymore. It's my internal power here that I can lean into. Um, you know, what point do you think that really kicked in for you? And, and then what happened after that? Yeah, I think when we set the goal, um, I remember we worked through different options and like we kept the options open. It was like, okay, how can we achieve this goal? I could... I could look elsewhere. I could look at conversations within my company. Um, I could look at other ways to, I remember we were talking about different money goals, how to get there. We we're looking at alternatives. And so I think having those options open made me realize that you can kind of make it happen in any way that you want and that you can kind of just like, yeah, like I talked about, it's not about the how and things just can kind of, fall into place however you want it <laughs> like you set the goal there's different paths you can take and it'll just happen so I think keeping my options open I was exploring different things and I think that's what helped the actual goal come through because I just I wasn't pigeonholed I wasn't saying this is the one way that I'm going to get this um it was all very open and explorative and things like that definitely and um it's such an interesting point because when we can cultivate that mindset and believe that anything is possible that's when all these opportunities open up to us and then we can receive what we're after and 
I mean, in that process of that actually happening for you, um, how did that kind of play out for you in your mind when you were reflecting on it? Um, reflecting on it, I just think that, like, I'm so grateful that I just went all in in all of the different activities that we had because there were activities that I felt like I'm like, oh, is this the right path is this the right option to explore but just I'm so grateful that I just went hey let's give it a go because we always had like a little tiny next step to do um and so I was like it's so easy let's just do the next step and work through it trust the process that sort of thing um but yeah just very grateful overall yeah fantastic and you did you trusted the process you were open to receive you were open to the possibilities and look how the universe delivered me on that front <laughs> And now you're on the other side of, of coaching and you have the opportunity to look back at everything you've accomplished and what is a relatively short time, you know, eight weeks of coaching that we had. Um, you know, when you reflect back on that and you think about your your journey in coaching, what would you say, um, you know, just on the reflection of that, of, of what it's felt, what it's meant for you in your life? I definitely feel like I've leveled up in the way that I was looking to level up. Like I think my mentality has improved in in just thinking that I can set any goal and there's so many different tools that I can use and resources I can I can go back on the worksheets I can go back on the recordings of the sessions and use that as and keep using those tools um so I really just think that like I feel like I've gotten a really good foundation and that I've gotten a really good set of tools that I can keep using in the future um but yeah just feel like I've definitely improved I'm happier um I've got a path so I've got my goals set and yeah everything's just very clear yeah fantastic and the um that, that clarity is so important for anyone um whether it's to do with career business relationships and so on and um, how will you use this new level of clarity that you've got now as um, as you move forward past, past coaching and you can continue in your career? Yeah, well, I think as I keep working through, um, I'm obviously like I'll keep wanting to level up in some sort of sense or I'll have a next goal. And I think I'll just keep using that those same techniques, um, like that I can set any goal and that I can visualize and take next steps and I think yeah just doing those little tiny really easy steps is such a valuable tool that I just go okay set a time set a date on that day I'm just going to do something ridiculously easy and just slowly work my way through it um but yeah just knowing that that it really doesn't nothing has to be that hard it, nothing has to be that daunting um that I just feel like in the future I can just keep applying those same uh rules and tools and things Nice. And if you were to think also now about what you love most about who you become in the process of this coaching journey, what would you suggest? I feel like I'm just so much more happier and that I feel like I'm so much more in control. Um, the fact that I've got um, this knowledge and these mindset techniques, um, I really do think that I just, yeah, I can overall life is feeling better and I know we explored habits as well so I feel like I'm on track and yet yeah, have that kind of control great and how would you say that um that change within yourself has impacted your relationships you know like your colleagues friends mm -hmm. family um I think definitely definitely a positive impact um I think if anything I've just inspired them all because <laughs> I keep talking about it <laughs> I keep talking about my life coaching and what it taught me and I keep like passing on the knowledge. Um, but yeah, I feel like it, I hope that they kind of feel a little bit inspired as well. Oh, that's great. I love that. You're like handing over the baton yeah. and getting the others to run with it now. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and what would you say um, to someone else who is maybe thinking about going with a coach and, and pursuing this, this path of, of coaching? What would you say to them? I think I would say just as I kind of reflected on those like initial thoughts that I was feeling at the beginning, I would say if you are being called to this or if you are thinking about doing life coaching, there's probably a reason that you're thinking about this and like deep down, it, like these thoughts don't just come up for nothing and that you probably 
it could be the inspired action that you need to get those goals. So yeah, I think just listen to your gut. Um, I remember you told me after the first initial call to just sleep on it once. And then the morning you said, just like, whatever you get called to do it, like don't dwell on it. Um, and that was really good advice. I think to just listen to your intuition and don't like just the initial reaction that you get, do you want to commit? Yes or no. And just fully go into it. Um, but yeah, that's what I would say. Fantastic. And that's great advice for anyone listening, um, you know, listening and viewing today. Well, we've got a decision to make. We want to sleep on it. We wake up in the morning, go with our gut. It's either a hard yes or a hard no. There's no maybe. Maybe is no. <laughs> yes or no. And locking into those decisions also in, in terms of a yes or a no, whatever it might be, also raises our confidence as, as you know, having gone through the coaching journey with me. Um, because we get confident in our ability to make decisions. <laughs> so um, anything else you wanted to add today at all about your experience, your coaching journey, thoughts, feelings, anything at all? Just absolutely loved it. I'm so grateful that I came across you on the online. It was just a Google search and I was like, whatever comes up. <laughs> but it was really good, yeah. And I strongly advise anyone who's thinking about it to just jump in because it honestly, it's a massive mindset change and that really is very valuable um and no better time than now as you said <laughs> <laughs> fantastic well thank you so much and thank you everyone who's joined us today i hope you've enjoyed meeting the two real veronicas live on screen um so if you are looking maybe to level up your career maybe your business relationships whatever it might be just as veronica has done as well please do get in touch with us you can reach out to us with your inquiry by hitting us up at the lifecoachingco.com.au. Or of course, you can head to Facebook as well. That's facebook.com forward slash the life coaching co. Or we're on Instagram as well at the life coaching co. So until next time, thanks once again for joining us. And remember, master your mindset, secure your success. <laughs>